Hey all, welcome to a new story. It's the Lord of the Crowns. Going by the name, I think this will be similar to Lord of the Rings. Maybe somewhat follow that story. I haven't watched the Lord of the Rings, so I can't relate it to it probably. But any the story should anyway be fun. Alright, someone is sleeping. We got to find him. So there's a lever here attached with a long rope that will probably build a bridge. Wow, these guys just don't move from that spot. We will have to do something to make them move. Alright, recipe is on the table. Let's cook the food. These are probably the ingredient names. The recipe is here. Orange essence, one pumpkin, water. Orange pumpkin water. Raise the heat. Alright. All of the ingredients are here. Except water because we will have to fill it first. Uh, so which one is orange essence? Raw ingredient is pumpkin. Essence must be the spice. Okay, it just disappeared. I'll have to get this barrel out of the way to take that pumpkin out. And while we are here, let's fill it with water as well. There we go, our water is ready to be taken after this pumpkin. Alright, last thing is the water and then we have to turn the heat up. Great, we can now turn the wall. So the food is ready. The people that were standing outside have come inside. So we can now proceed further. This hat must be something just extra. The crown of power has to be mine. Okay, so are we looking at getting a crown, a crown from somebody? We'll probably have to find that guy. This one is 5 and 2 tiles long. So pretty average. This location contains, uh, this event contains 9 locations in total. So that is probably one more than the average. But most of the times when there is a 9th location, it's generally short or just a reward location kind of thing. We will find out what is the case in this event. Anyway. Most of the recipes on the table. Oh, oh. The people in this town just don't know how to cook. Blueberry, patty pan squash and water. Okay. Raw ingredient. That is the squash. This is just water and this time we have a filled barrel of water so that's great at least they have done something for us okay so this time we don't need the orange ones we need the purple ones 
spices here. And this must be the scratch. Okay, we can't step there because that is the place for the fire. Uh, I think I will have to do one more going around because I will have to pull this one down. Okay, finally, time to turn up the heat. Okay, so that's our second meal. Looks really delicious. Food generally takes deli uh, tastes delicious if you cook it on your own. May not apply to all of the all. Anyway, so we are still looking for Frida. Smell of food. So do we have to cook more? I think there is one more house there. So. We probably have one more recipe to cook. Alright, I did not notice it was a decayable grass. Alright, let's get to the third recipe. Grassy essence, pistachio and water. So green things now. Okay, this time also we have a filled water. Grassy essence. Uh, I'm just taking it but I don't know where. Spice is here. So yes, we are at the right place. water here and last pistachio although I can't simply take it out I will have to put this one in the corner now I can Okay, last thing, turn up the heat and one more recipe of delicious food is ready. This cooking is taking a lot of time. He is still asleep so very easy we have to wake him up. But I think it's time for one more recipe or maybe not, well I'm not sure, let me just enter this hat. This is no recipe, this is probably Fredo's home and we will have to wake him up. Okay, so we have to shape the bed. Great, that's it. He has created such a mess around his bed. Probably because nobody should reach him to wake him up. Alright, leaving little done. So we will have to leave little done with Frido and secure the crown but we can't leave simply we'll have to help him pack these are probably some of the things that we need to pack
Okay, some mirror puzzles. And these are movable mirrors, so it should not be a problem at all. I think I won't move the mirrors much. I'll just move them, two of them one space and the rotation will do the work. And there is the underpants. Anything else, Frido? Where do we look for him? Maybe outside? Okay, he is at the gate. Compass, rope, map, basket food. Uh, I think we'll have to enter here. I missed that part. No, I actually entered this part. So where are the remaining items? Okay, they are up here. Oh, anything else remaining? Let's try talking. No, we are done. Samuel at his home. Okay, a weird doorbell is his home. Okay, we can proceed. Okay, we are very big. The town of Littleton people are actually very small in size. So they are not able to do a lot of things. We have some more donkey. Uh, we have to pull it from the other way. Is this the doorbell? It's... Yes, it's the correct doorbell. 10 sacks of potatoes. Alright, we have all 10 of them in that ground. Was that 10 of them? Okay. Oh, I can't read the message behind because one in the front popped up and I just long lost the link. There should be some proper synchronization to these messages. But anyway, that's for the developer teams to discuss. We should now probably enter this hut. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, since we are right next to this hut, let's go ahead and find if we have to do anything inside here. from the other side here's a treasure part here I'll just go ahead and do that The dog pooped instead of frightening us. So even the little two dogs are afraid of the big people like Dicky. Well, one poop to clean and we have the treasure part. Not so hard. We are almost done with the location. Barely 20 tiles left. 
I am sensing some kind of hidden bonus here with the movable plants around here. Uh, I don't know. Does not really look like I can put them over something. What are we supposed to do? Okay, I actually missed the conversations. We have an object behind these bushes. It's the ground. Alright, it's time to start the journey it seems. And that's the end of the quest. So thank you for watching. See you in the next location.